day it was. We've been looking for a day just like this for a long time, and good news is it's here to stay for a couple days. Bismo Beach looking wonderful. We have two hours left of sunshine here in Kern County. Good news. However, we are seeing winds picking up to about 15 miles per hour of the north northwest, 90 degrees still for this time of day. So it was really gorgeous, and things will cool down eventually. Wind speeds in other parts of the area. We're seeing 30 mile per hour winds in Mojave, and then 25, a 28 over in the Lancaster, 15 at the China Lake. We are in a wind advisory throughout the Kern County Mountains and Southeastern Desert. All this gray area and brown area here is representing that wind advisory. Sunday, tomorrow morning until about Monday, 12 a.m. And then Elena Rusk will be in and keep you updated on that wind advisory. But of course, be careful if you are traveling through the passes as visibility could be reduced as the blowing dust and winds pick up. High clouds moving through the area. We're seeing 91 currently in uh, China Lake, 90s in Bakersfield and Porterville. And then look at those gorgeous 60s up the Central Coast, 83 over in Paso Robles. We're about 10 degrees above average today, but that cooling trend is beginning to uh, enter. Definitely low, but Lower than our record is at set back at 102. Highs for other parts of the area, 79 in Tehachapi, upper 70s at Lake Isabella and Ridgecrest, also in the valley, upper 70s, 91 for a high in Porterville. Good news is this big cold front and low pressure system is really pulling in from the Pacific Northwest. Got a cool temperatures, a good 20 degrees by midweek here in the valley and even into the 60s over in Tehachapi and parts of Lake Isabella. So, of course, we're welcoming this cooler weather with open arms before things really start to heat up again and summer commences. Air quality uh, is moderate into tomorrow, so please burn a fire cleanly if you are going to. 58 for a low tonight, partly cloudy skies. And then tomorrow, look at that, a gorgeous 85 degrees. It'll be perfect weather for those outdoor activities. Clear and warm winds will stay out of the west northwest 5 to 10 miles per hour. Let's check out California. Northern California will see gorgeous temperatures, upper 70s in Sacramento, upper 60s in San Francisco, and a little bit of partly cloudy skies. Now, as we make our way down to central California, you could see that in Pismo, Solving, and Morro Bay, we are going to start out with fog that will spread out at around 11. 11, uh, 11 a.m. and then partly cloudy skies will clear out throughout the afternoon. So that's what that means. 81 for a high in Santa Barbara and 70 in Ventura. Down in Southern California, we're going to start out with fog in parts of Los Angeles and over in Disneyland, and then things will clear out as the afternoon really starts in. Upper 90s for a high over in Palm Springs, but a gorgeous 70 down in San Diego. Here in the Valley, mid 80s tomorrow throughout all of the Valley floor. Gorgeous day tomorrow. Cloudy. Uh, clear skies. And then over in Tehachapi, we'll see 75 for Glenville, 78 in Isabella, and then upper 60s in Tehachapi. Watch out for those winds up, gusts up to 40 miles per hour. And then lastly, as we make our way over to the desert, breezy conditions as well, 84 at the Edwards Air Force Base with wind gusts about 40 miles per hour there as well. So here's your magic seven day numbers 84 tomorrow, 80 on Monday, and then dropping almost 10 degrees on Tuesday, picking up 10 degrees on Wednesday, and then back into the 90s this time next weekend. But it's going to be a gorgeous week ahead before we heat back into the 90s. Definitely windy tomorrow in the mountains and then breezy throughout midweek, clearing out into the 70s this time next weekend. And finally, in Isabella, breezy conditions Sunday and Monday, and then things will really cool down Tuesday. Look at that 60s right back into the 80s. So a good week ahead.